she was flying, you know, you want them to one day fly, and, and she was. She was just starting to. Other news now in a local mom keeping her daughter's memory alive following a tragic hot air balloon accident. Katie Bartram was among four people killed in a hot air balloon crash in central Arizona, you'll remember, earlier this year. Just last week, she was posthumously given a prestigious award for nurses. And tonight, her family is sharing her story for the first time with 21 Alive reporter Amelia Miles. Amelia joins us now with more. Heather and Linda, 28-year-old Caitlin Bartram was from Huntington County, and her family tells me she, would have, she was adventurous and loved helping people. <gasps> oh, my gosh. You, there's twins. <laughs> and I laid there, and I was like, what? <laughs> I just remember being so excited. Jennifer Hubbard is the mother of four kids, including twin girls, Kelsey and Caitlin Bartram, also known as Katie, to her family and friends. Just lots of love and laughter and videos and fun and just sweet. Hubbard also describing her daughter as adventurous. What happened when you got the call? I first was notified that um, she was airlifted to a hospital and that there had been an accident. The balloon pilot along with Katie and two other passengers died. On the phone with him I was receiving another phone call and when I answered that one they said she didn't make it. Police say eight skydivers jumped out of the balloon before something caused the balloon to crash. Katie called Kelsey before she got on the hot air balloon that morning and Kelsey was like, that's so weird. She never calls me that early. Kelsey just wondered how she would live without her. It's hard having someone your whole life and then just not. Katie's twin sister Kelsey tells me she takes it day by day. It's so hard. I go to work and people still are like, you look just like her. Give me a hug. And I'm like, Ugh. and she was a good person. And Everyone loved her. Katie had just become a nurse at Lutheran Hospital. Got the call for this award. Wow, that's amazing. Last week, with tears in their eyes, the family accepted a nursing award in Katie's honor. Oh, it's for exceptional nurses, and mm. I'm proud of her for being that. I think she would have been a wonderful nurse for quite some time. And if she was sitting here tonight, what would you say to her? I would just hug her and not let go and tell her that I love her and how proud I was of her and that I'm glad she was loving her life and living a life that she really wanted to live. So, Is that what kind of gives you peace? Yeah. Mm, what a great family. The family wants to thank the community for all the outpouring of support these past couple of months. It means the world to them. Reporting in studio, Amelia Miles, 21 Alive News.